guys, welcome back. So I have a fun video today. I've got my top 10 favorite lipsticks for fall. My top 10 fall lipsticks, whatever I'm gonna call it. Um, I've got some great colors here. I will tell you for the fall, I kind of go for more like purples, mauves, um, raspberry pinks, ones like that because I don't really go for the super vampy purples or the kind of Christmassy reds or anything like that yet. I kind of like the more transitional sort of colors because I love brights in the summer and then I love the kind of in between in the fall. Um, especially in Texas, we're still really hot so it doesn't quite feel like dark lip weather yet. But I do have some dark ones in this um, line. So yeah, I'm going to tell you all of my favorites and swatch them on my lips for you and tell you my thoughts. So let's get started. Okay, I really hope you can't hear the background noise. There's like birds or something making a really weird annoying noise. So hopefully you can't hear it, but we're just going to jump right on in. So the first one I have that I love is Max Viva Glam 5. And I've got it on my lips right now. It's just, it's a really nice nude but it has something extra to it, like almost like, I described it in one video, kind of like a red brick sort of undertone and it has a little bit of sheen to it and I just really love it. I think this is a great lipstick for those really dark eye looks. This works really well. Um, I think it's beautiful, the formula is amazing, smells delicious, I love MAC lipsticks. So this is definitely a neutral that I'm going to be wearing a lot for the fall. Love it. Okay, next is Max Fabby. This is another great neutral for the fall. Um, it's similar to Mac Viva Glam 5 in that it's it's a nude or a natural kind of my lips but better color with something extra to it. Um, it's similar to Viva Glam 5 except this one's more kind of pinky toned, um, and I I just love it. It's Again, it's a neutral, but it just has something extra. So it's not like just gonna wash your lips out or give you no color whatsoever. It just has some sheen and some um, dimension to it is the wording I would use, dimension. So I love MAC Fabby. It's one of my very favorites and I would highly recommend it. Great formula, love it. Okay, next I have an awesome metallic-y looking purple. This one is um, one of the Milani Color Statement lipsticks in Vegas Volt. No, Violet Volt. Yeah. I love these lipsticks. It's a wonderful formula. I'm going to make a big statement. I think these might be the best lipstick formula in the drugstore. I think they're amazing. Uh, just great quality, wonderful formula. They last well on the lips. They're a great value, wonderful fun colors. I just, I love them. So this one, Violet Volt, is, it's like a funky 80s looking purple. And I know some people may look at it and go, I hate that. And um, because it's a particular look, you know, you have to want that kind of metallic looking, um, almost rockery looking funky lip. And I love it. I think it's awesome for fall. Um, I think it's beautiful, it's got dimension to it, kind of a duo chromey look. I think it's so, so pretty, and I love this color, love this formula, love, love, love. Great one. Okay, next is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, not just for fall, and it is Revlon's Berry Hoat. Oat. I don't note, but it's one of those words, H-A-U-T-E, whatever, hoat look, oat look, whatever that is. Um, I love this color. It's like a pinky sort of purple. Um, and I've heard it kind of compared to Max Up the Amp. I don't own Up the Amp, but I have um, swatched it and tried it on my lips. And I think that this is a much better color because it's a lot more pinky purple. Um, it, but it's still, it's not like a bright pinky purple. It's good for fall. Um, I just, I love it. I think it's such a pretty color. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a wonderful creamy formula, as you probably saw when I applied it. It just glides on your lips. These are really affordable. Tons of colors in this line. I love this lipstick. It's one of my favorites, like I said, of all time. Highly, highly recommend Revlon's Berry Hot Oat. The Oat. 
Okay, now we're getting into some of the Wabam colors that are going to dye my lips. So this one is Max Flat Out Fabulous. And I've talked about this color before. This is one of their retro matte lipsticks. Um, and this one's kind of different. It's not like Ruby Woo. Like I really compared them in the store just to see. And Ruby Woo just like really drags on your lips when you apply it because it's so dry. And even though it's supposed to be the same collection, this one just glides on so much smoother and nicer. And I, I like the formula a lot better. Um, I love this line because it's kind of like, it's like retro and matte and retro matte's a good name for it because it's just awesome. They, they glide on well, the mattes last really well, they look pinup-y and I just love them. Um, this one is right here. It's a beautiful um, berry with some red and a little bit of purple. It's kind of the, the right mix between them. But it has more, it's kind of like raspberry. Raspberry berry is how I would describe it. Um, and this one I just love because I love the formula so much. Um, and also the color, I mean, but I love those kind of pin -up -y matte lips. I think they're just gorgeous, especially for fall. I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. I've already been wearing it a lot, so I'm gonna wear it a lot more. Next is one that I think is going to be my go-to lip this fall. And it is Milani's Uptown Mauve. And while Berry Haute is one of my top whatever lipsticks of all time, and I love that color, I didn't own this one last year to like fully fall in love with it. But in the month that I've owned it, I keep, I haven't worn it out anywhere, but I've tried it on numerous times just to kind of look at it and compare and swatch and dupes and look for that kind of stuff. Every time I put it on my lips or swatch it, I think it's incredible. Let me swatch it for you. It is the perfect berry lip. It's the perfect balance between pink, purple, and red. Like when I think of what is the perfect berry lip for fall, this is the color I would say grab. And again, great formula, great price, amazing, so comfortable. It's like a satiny kind of a finish with a little bit of a sheen, not really even a sheen, just kind of a, a creaminess to it is how I would describe it. But I love this color. I think it's incredible. Gonna be wearing it a ton this fall. Okay, and then next we have a berry that's on the more reddish side of berry. And this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Smitten. And it's this nice berry color, but like I said, it's got more red to it. So that's kind of what it makes what makes it different than some of these others. Um, and I, I really like the Kissable Balm Stains. I have almost every color. I was obsessed with them last year. It looks a little light in the viewfinder, so I hope that it's coming off accurately for y'all. It's pink with a little bit more raspberry and a little bit more red to it. So it's kind of like that snow white, youthful side of berry is how I would describe it. Um, like I said, I like the formula of these. Some factors you kind of have to deal with is that because it's this little pencil thing, it kind of gets like nubbed off on the top and a little flat. So it's a little bit harder to get an accurate line a precise line around the outsides of your lips. Um, it goes on really smoothly, so it's easy to apply. It's just, it's not going to be that like retro sort of lip where it's a perfectly applied line. It's going to be more kind of that flush to your lips, but it's a dark color. So, you know, you want it to be fairly accurate when you put it on your lips. So, but I really like this one. They do last a long time. Sometimes they wear off a little bit patchy, so that's not my favorite, at least on my lips. So I just carry it around with me and reapply it, but it does definitely leave some sort of a stain on your lips and it smells really nice, it smells minty. So I really like this one. Okay, next is one that I think is really unique for fall. That's why I love it. And it's one of the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks and this is in Jilted. And I tried on a bunch of the Revolution lipsticks and this is the one that I chose because I felt like it was different than anything I had in my collection. And it's just, it's a beautiful, berry color, but it has more red to it, but what makes it extra special is it has like a purpley duochrome to it, and that is what I think is so amazing about it. Like, I love it. I can't wait to wear this one out. Um, and the, the Revolution lipsticks are really nice. The formula of this is really creamy. I haven't worn it an entire day, but I did wear it the rest of the day. I tried it on at Sephora, ended up purchasing it, and then I wore it the rest of the day, and I really liked the way that it looked, and I just... I love the color. I think it's amazing. These are a higher price point. They're like, I don't know where to put this because I know I'm going to be doing my little 
split shot or whatever, so I gotta stay in the middle, you know what I mean? Um, I turned into like a New Yorker there, I gotta stay in the middle, you know? I'm always butchering somebody's accent, so sad. But um, anyway, I ended up wearing it the rest of the day and I did really like the way that it looked. So these are a higher price point at $22, but they are really nice and to get a unique different color, you know, if you have a coupon like the 10% off for your VIB or maybe the 20% that comes around Christmas, it might be one that you want to pick up. So I, I really like it. I think it's beautiful. Let me swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like. It's right there. Such a beautiful kind of fun berry color. I love it. So unique. Awesome. Okay, next is a relatively new purchase for me and I love it. It is Milani's Color Statement Lipstick in Best Red. And this is your classic pinup red. It's right there in the middle. It's a little bit, to me, it looks like it's, it's a little bit more on the orangey side. It's kind of in the classic to orange side of red, which I personally really like. I love that it's a matte formula. It just, it looks like that classic pinup. Because I find that sometimes more of those raspberry reds are just too overpowering for my face, for my complexion, but, or my skin tone or whatever I'm trying to say. But this kind of red, I think, really works. So if you're looking for the classic pinup looking red at a really awesome price, like $5.50 or whatever these are um, from CVS, then I definitely would pick up Milani's Best Red. I love it. And I'm, if I'm looking for a red for the fall, this is the one that I'm going to be grabbing for sure. Okay, and the last is a cult favorite. I'm sure everybody in the mama and the dog is going to recommend this lipstick and put it in their fall favorites for their lipstick favorites. But... I have to include it because I love it too. And it's Max Rebel. And in the tube, it looks like, what? Looks so scary. And on, it's very dark. I mean, we're getting into like vampy looking lips here. Um, and when I first tried it on in the store, I kind of looked and I was like, I don't know. And I kind of, I wore it around the mall and I ended up really falling in love with it. Um, because it's, it's a very well-behaved lipstick is how I would describe it because it kind of dries to a matte sort of sheen, no, matte kind of formula, for, formula, 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 and then with that it's not quite as high maintenance so I don't have to worry about it going everywhere. It just kind of stays put so that's why I say it's well-behaved, you know, it does what it's supposed to. And also I love the way it wears off on me. It becomes um, almost like a bright berry sort of pink as it wears off. I don't know why, I don't know if, that, if it happens that way to everybody or if it's just me, but I love the way it looks when I first apply it. And then I love the way it looks throughout the day as well. So um, I have it swatched here. I forgot to show you Best Red. So there's Best Red and there is Max Rebel. It's just a beautiful dark berry with a lot of purple to it. I mean, that is, that's what it is. So if that's what you're looking for, I highly recommend this one. Great formula, lasts really well on the lips. I get a lot of compliments. So I don't know if they're like the uncomfortable kind of compliments, like, oh, I feel like I need to say something about that chick's really dark lips because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know if it's that scenario, or if people really do like it, but I like it on me. Um, I think it's pretty. If you think this is kind of maybe too much for you, Uptown Mauve is really very similar. That's, I think, why I love this one so much because it's right there. And as this one wears off, it kind of becomes that sort of color. Maybe not exact, but pretty close to it. So this one reminds me a lot of Rebel. It's just kind of a lighter color or a lighter version of it. So if you're scared of Rebel, try this one out first and maybe it can be your little baby step into jumping into Rebel. So. Seriously, I wouldn't have worn this lip, you know, two years ago, but I'm like, hey, you know what? Life's too short. Wear your dark vampy lip. Why not? Just for fun. And it's not black. It's like, you know, dark berryish purple. So I think it's awesome. Yeah, guys, so those were all my favorite fall lipsticks. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful for you to see the lip swatches and the hand swatches and hear me talk about it and all that jazz. So um, I hope this gave you some good suggestions and good ideas. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'd love to have you. Um, and also, please tell me some of your favorites. And Maybe there's some that I need to try out and go check them out at the store. Like, 
I need any more lipsticks, but I'm a lipstick junkie, so I love it. It's amazing how like just a fun lip can brighten your mood. You know, sometimes you wake up and you're like, eh, just kind of in a cruddy mood. And then, you know, you pick out a fun lipstick and it's just like, it's just fun to play with colors. So I think it's a lot of fun. I'm excited about fall and getting to play with all these darker colors. So I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.